What's up, y'all? It's Toby D, and you already know what it is. It is pound for pound. Hey, it's time for training camp, guys. Training camp is coming up July 22nd. Hope to see you out there. I hope to be out there, hopefully, on July 27th, which is a Saturday. This is when the Atlanta Falcons are sure to be in them Falcons pads, man, and going toe-to-toe -to -toe offensive and the defensive line, seeing what the new offensive line is going to look like against the defensive line of Dan Quinn is getting ready to take his defense to the next level as he's calling the defense this year. That is very exciting. We all know in 2016 he took the defense over and we saw what they did, which ultimately led them to the Super Bowl. And now he's going to start from day one, week one, calling the defense against Minnesota and that offense that they got up there and Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen. Hey, man, we're going to see how that thing goes down. But I'm doing this video right now. A special shout out. Uh, hopefully I'm saying this right. Dog Maniac um, G. He asked me that I see John Kaminsky, our fourth round pick, as a diamond in the rough. And I'm going to tell you right now, Dan Quinn mentioned that as he's getting ready to call this defense, him and his staff went and looked at film for the past seven years, um, the two years that he was with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, and the four years he's been with us, now going into his fifth season with the Atlanta Falcons, see if there was things that they needed to tweak, things that they weren't doing, um, that he was doing in those defenses when he was with the Seattle Seahawks. And I'm going to tell you, I bet you there was one person that popped out to him that he did not quite have on his roster when he looked that roster over. And that is number 72. His name is Michael Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Bennett played a huge role in the, in the Seattle Seahawks defense being what it was, being able to play on the outside when needed to and kick in on the inside and destroy guards when on his way to either the ball carrier or to the quarterback. And he needed a player that can resemble that and to do some similar things for him in his defense. He just didn't have it. As you guys know, when they signed Adrian Claiborne, they tried this with Adrian Claiborne and doing this with him, uh, kicking him on the end, putting him on the inside and on the outside, that it did not work. So they went uh, and got a guy in Derrick Shelby, 2016, tried it with him. It was not quite as successful as they had hoped it would be. So now you get to this point and you get to the fourth round and you get a guy out of a small town school named John Kaminsky. 33 and a half inch arm reach, ladies and gentlemen. You know who else had a 33 and a half inch arm reach? Michael Bennett. Yes, you guessed it right. This is a guy that has similar numbers to Michael Bennett. Now, albeit John Kaminsky's numbers are slightly better, but their numbers uh, weren't too far apart. Um, in the vertical jump, the numbers weren't too far apart. In the broad jump, numbers weren't too far apart. In the bench, um, 24 bench presses for Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett coming out, unfortunately, went undrafted. But, hey, that did not affect him at all because now we see what type of player he is and what he's become with the baby mini shoulder pass on. He's known for that. I don't see John Kaminsky going that far. But I do see John Kaminsky as a player that Dan Quinn can use similarly in that role. Now, I don't close the door on the Allen Bailey being signed with the Atlanta Falcons. I think we're waiting to get these deals out of the way with Grady Jarrett and Julio Jones. And once those deals are done, there could be a strong chance that Allen Bailey will definitely be in Atlanta Falcon. I look for that and see if that's going to happen because he could also serve in a role on um, playing in a 3-4 defense, knows the roles of playing on the outside and the roles of playing on the inside as a defensive tackle uh, and defensive end. But you need someone like a John Kaminsky in your defense, especially when you are playing 60 and 70% of your defense out of the nickel. The more guys you got with the versatility that can not only rush the passer, but in case that quarterback decides to check in runs because you're playing so much nickel, trying to get an advantage over your defense, you need more guys with the versatility who can play both the run and the pass. And John Kaminsky, I can tell you right now, is a player that 
Jess Simpson, the new defensive line coach who was the assistant coach under Brian Young, who left, uh, who's gone um, to be with his family and things of that nature, has mentioned that, that John Kaminsky, excuse me, is doing a very good job right now. And I'm going to tell you, they're getting him up to speed. I believe he's going to be used a lot more than what people think. Just because he's a fourth-round draft pick doesn't mean that a lot is going to be put on his, not going to be put on his shoulders to serve as that Michael Bennett piece, especially when the numbers are similar. He don't need to look no further than popping in that film with Michael Bennett to see how Michael Bennett does things. Now, he's got to get up to speed with the speed of the NFL game. But he feels very confident. You watch John Kaminsky say that he's feeling like he can handle some offensive linemen. Hey, at 285, 6'5", 33 and a half inch arm length reach with nine and three fourth um, quarters inch hands, just like Michael Bennett. These guys are very similar to me. When I watch a man, the way that they pursue um, the quarterback and get out the running backs, um, they're very similar. Now, you don't have to agree with me. That's fine. That's just how I see it. And that's why I did this for Dog Minigak um, G because I told him I would say and tell him about a player I believe that he reminded me of, which is why he's an attraction to Dan Quinn to draft him. Dan Quinn feels very good about this guy. And I can't wait to get out the camp to see how he deals with um, guys like Chris Lindstrom, James Carpenter, um, Brian. <clears throat> Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Um, Jamon Brown, excuse me. I couldn't get his name. I got a little brain fart there. But I'm excited to see what he's going to do out there, hanging out with guys like Jack Crawford, Grady Jarrett, Vic Beasley, Tack McKinley. Both of those guys, of course, Vic Beasley and Tack McKinley, we are hoping to have big years this year. And Dan Quinn feels like he can get them guys to Pro Bowl level type playing form. This defense has a chance to do something special, and John Kaminsky, to me, is going to be a huge part of it going into the 2019 season. Now, that's all I pretty much got to say about John Kaminsky. I'm going to put that 2 minute and 36, minute, 36 second clip down there so that you guys can get a chance um, to look at it, and maybe you'll get the same goosebump feeling that I got when you watch it, watching this dude get in passing lanes and put his hands up and Deflect balls down, um, disrupting the passes of quarterbacks because of that long reach and how tall he is, using that to his advantage. Hey, I'm excited, man. Look, continue to comment, like, subscribe, all of those beautiful things. Let me know what you're feeling about John Kaminsky. How big of a factor do you believe he's going to be in the 2019 season? Um, hey, other than that, that's it for me. I'm Toby D. This is Pound for Pound. Peace. I'm out.